Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to show you um, how to do um, the meshing inside the fluent and how to um, work with the proximity and curvature settings. This is not only limited to the um, fluent, the concept is same for ANSYS meshing, uh, but here I'll, I will use um, fluent meshing to um, help you get familiar with the um, fluent meshing as well. First let's create a geometry so in the previous video I mentioned that you can't run um, fluent meshing from the um, workbench but recently um, in the new versions ANSYS added that um, fluent um, to the comp at the component systems you have the fluent with fluent meshing so you can drag and drop on the geometry it will be shared later when we created the geometry so I will double click on the design mod um, on the geometry it will automatically open the design modeler so I have set up my um, workbench in a way uh, it will the default geometry is a design modeler in case um, you don't know how to run the design modeler or space claim you can just right click on this one and um, edit the geometry in design modeler or space claim you can choose from here okay let's set the units to millimeters and create a sketch on XY plane. So here I will create um, four rectangles and uh, two rectangles and two circles. So let's do something like this. Okay. And let's do. Then let's go to dimensions. We'll do, let's say, um, four millimeters. And for the length, let's do 20. And the distance from here. This is not very important, just I want to be clean. Okay, then let's go to modify. I will um, select all of these and create a copy and I will just create a copy here. Doesn't matter if it's exactly the same or not. So I will um, press escape and go to the modeling mode, select this sketch, extrude. So sketch one, add material, normal, direction is normal, um, direction is um, both sides symmetric. Let's do um, maybe 15 millimeters, well, let's do 20, okay then generate. So we have two bodies here. Let me create another sketch. Okay, sketch number two. So I will go and create another rectangle. dimensions to 4 to 20 again and let's create 10 okay then I will go to the modeling and click revolve select this sketch and Select the axis, one of this one, 36, 360 degrees, and create. So this is a cylinder here. Um, I will do the same thing. Let me see. Um, I will create another rectangle, same as the previous one, um, to generate those cylinders. So. 
let's see um, dimensions to four. Okay, let's go to the modeling and revolve this one. Let's select this axis. Actually, let's select this one to have some space around here. So now we have two cylinders and two boxes. So let's like rename the box underscore one. So box underscore two for this one. So let's do the cylinder one and cylinder number two. Now let's create a bigger box I like it. These are four solids and create a bigger box around them as a Floyd or something like as air. So I will just go ahead and create a big rectangular okay something like this okay then extrude so apply instead of adding material I will do add frozen when if you do the add material it they will be merged together so I wanna have separate bodies so instead of normal I will choose both side symmetric and let's do 25 actually let's do 30 to have enough space here okay generate so I will rename this one as air just to make sure this is Floyd then so I will um, create a boolean with subtract and subtract the all of the other bodies from the air to create the void and I want to keep those bodies so generate and let's create a f one part so this is ready we can go and um, close this one and run the fluent and um, one important thing when you run uh, fluent from the workstation fluent meshing so it's better to go to the view and op open this properties uh, window here like if it's not here you go to properties and bring it uh, back this window and you need to specify the units before running the fluent if you run the fluent um, you will see that you can't um, see the units there so you can not change the units there so I will start the fluent and you will see uh, what I mean so I have changed the fluence DPI settings to uh, make it visible so because of that I will okay as you can see um, when you do the import geometry the file name and the, the units were gray and uneditable so when you run the fluent outside of the workbench you can import the geometry here and define the units here but when you run from the workbench you need to do that ahead of the time before running the fluent so here um, let me create a clip so we have as you can see we have um, oops, okay we have two boxes inside this bigger box and two cylinders so I will add some local sizing so I will choose the size control as a proximity first then click on the box number one so proximity has three scopes like one is the faces and other is edges and other one is faces and edges so if you click on the edges it will and define the number of cells per gap I will do let's say 
8 so because it was 4 millimeters so it will be 8 so like half a millimeter for um, um, per um, the size of the um, cells will be so if you define the edges um, it will create um, eight cells between two edges at least eight cells but um, let's define this one at local sizing then let's add another local sizing that the proximity number two for the box number two this time I will choose faces and edges and define the same eight gaps between them and add the local sizing so for the faces and edges and um, they will be uh, eight gaps between every face and every edge you will see the difference later the next one I'm wanna talk about is curvature so let's create a curvature okay the angle is 18 so let's create select the cylinder so I will change this one to 36 so what does it mean the angle if you consider a, a full circle when you when the degree is 36 it will create um, um, on the outer circle it will create like 10 cells because 36 divided uh, 360 degrees divided by 36 it will be 10 so I will create one cylinder with 36 curvature and another one uh, with 18 for the cylinder number 2 and let's go to the create face okay let me hide this top panel so I will have more space here create surface mesh um, I will do the um, angle 36 the, so as the um, global sizing so um, we will see the results more obviously so let's create the surface mesh first now we have our surface mesh we can see um, some of the differences here so let's move a little bit here this way okay if I zoom in like for the first um, box we selected the um, let me open it back and a little bit move this plane okay here so if I move it here okay for the first box we selected edge only so between each two edges as you can see on this face and outer faces between two edges it created eight cells so we have a finer mesh near the edges but as we go further from the edges as you can see we have larger size of the mesh but for the, the second one for the next box we chose um, faces and edges so it created um, like eight um, cells everywhere like even further from the edges because between these two faces like this face and this face it needs it to create at least eight cells so when there's uh, finer cells in between so there should be uh, finer cells on the faces too when we create the uh, volume mesh you can see that uh, more clearly so let me go back a little bit to the cylinders so and the cylinders are more obvious 
as you can see that the cylinder number one when we created the curvature as 36 it has one two three four five six seven eight nine and ten elements um, around the circle but for the um, for the one with the 18 degrees for the curvature we have um, like 20 cells around the um, around these um, cylinders so let's do we have um, both fluid and solids and describe the geometry I wanna just create the number of the fluids one okay air is the fluid others are solid update geometry so I will just keep everything as default here so I will try to do the hex core so in this case you can see the results better change to limit Z okay so as you can see let me turn it this one a little bit so let me hide this panel and to have more space and bring it like this okay so as you can see for this one uh, we have a finer mesh around the edges but uh, very coarse mesh at the big uh, at the middle of the faces because as I um, showed to you in the faces we have coarser mesh um, on the kind of middle of the side faces here but for this one we have kind of consistent fine mesh all around um, everywhere kind of even in the middle of the faces and for this um, cylinders if I move this way and zoom a little bit so this cylinder has created kind of fine mesh but uh, but the other one is very coarse because we selected um, 36 degrees so it created 10 um, sections um, around the circle so um, I will try to make more videos on the fluent meshing and um, I uh, um, if you are like kind of new to CFD and um, in a learning uh, CFD if you wanna do uh, meshing faster I encourage you use fluent meshing more because it's very powerful and it creates a very high quality mesh um, and you can get better quality mesh easier I will try to create more videos to explain um, different types of meshing and um, how to set the um, boundary condition around the and uh, boundary layers around the um, surfaces or um, solid bodies and also um, different types of meshing in the fluent and how to improve your meshing here and um, thanks for watching and um, please subscribe to our channel and like and share our videos and um, thank you